Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am talking SPF. We've got some newbies, we've got some old favorites, some of my personal favorites in the mix, and just a really large variety that I sort of wanted to sit down and share with you now that it is full blown summer and I am here in South Florida so I do consider myself a bit of an SPF authority so I'm going to share with you some of my own personal thoughts, feelings, and opinions as well. So let's just start with an absolute banger. This is from Fit Glow. Fit Glow had an SPF quite a few years ago. If you guys remember, I was obsessed with it. It was my very favorite. Used it the to the very last drop. And as always, they are always thinking of new ways to improve their formulations. And it is finally back. And this is their Vita Shield Plum Hyaluronic Primer SPF 30. So this is a really nice moisturizing option. Perfect SPF amount. I think SPF 30 is a fantastic sort of everyday wear and this does retail for $44. This is a sheer weightless formulation. It's got a fantastic pump. I always love that. Um, it's almost got like a sort of pinkish hue to it so that it doesn't at all leave a white cast on the skin. I can't attest to that. I did like to share with you some of the textures here. Blends in like an absolute dream. Of course there is hyaluronic acid in here that's great for plumping up the skin um, as well as moisture retention. Um, there is cloudberry and green tea in here as well and is meant to of course protect from the, the sun while keeping the skin looking really nice and supple. Fragrance, it basically has no fragrance at all. It's very lightweight on the skin. Some of the higher SPF factors could feel a little bit more rich. This is not the case with that. It is phenomenal. And they say that it makes a great primer because it's going to smooth out the skin. And when your skin is well hydrated, the makeup, of course, sits on top of it better. So you will, in turn, get longer wear out of your makeup as well. So I am over the moon about this. One of my very, very favorites, and this is a more recent launch as well. Let's talk about an old favorite. This is one I always go back to. It has such a unique formula, and this is the Hint Beauty Sun Prep SPF 25. What I love about this one is that it is more of a gel texture. So if you have dry skin, this is something you're gonna love. If you want something that feels like nothing on the skin, you are also going to love this. The full size bottle retails for $55, but there are samples available on the website as well for $5 if you wanna check it out. There's aloe leaf in here, so it's really nourishing. It almost feels cooling when you apply it, which I love. There's also green tea leaf in this formula as well as pine bark extract and this is probably the most weightless of all of the formulas it's really really special if you have a deeper complexion i think you're gonna love this one because you really do not have to worry about it looking white on the skin at all whatsoever it is tried and true and if you have a little bit of redness in the skin you want that more cooling sensation you want something that feels really nice this is going to be one that you are going to love Old Faithful from Hint, absolutely love it. Moving right along, you would have definitely heard me talk about this one. This one is in the top shelf for me. I use this all of the time, and this is the Mara Sea Kale Sunscreen Serum SPF 30. I love this one because it looks really, really pretty when you are not wearing makeup. It does have a much dewier finish on the skin, so if you're looking to wear this underneath makeup, it's something that I would let sort of sink in before you put anything on top, but if you want a dewy, no makeup look, this is my favorite. I love this one at the beach. It feels like you have a little bit of like highlighter on. It makes me feel like I'm glowing, and I really like that in addition to the SPF 30 coverage in here as well. It retails for $52. In here, there is blue sea kale. There is raspberry, which actually acts as a natural SPF while moisturizing the skin. There's sea aster in here, which is an ultra calming ingredient that also helps to reduce redness. So if you do get a little bit red from sun, this would help aid in that as well. I know some people's skin's uh, much more sensitive on the face. And then there is also an algae blend in here, which helps to plump 
firm and smooth the skin. And really that's what I love about all of these natural SPFs. They do more than just protect your sun from the skin. They are really helping to nourish it, fight against free radicals, fight against any sort of signs of aging. And it's really nice to have a product that can sort of do it all, especially when you are paying more of a premium. Um, so this one, you just need to make sure that you are getting a really good shake and it becomes increasingly easier to get a good mixture the more that you use this product. You pump it out, it's very lightweight, it's very runny, and then you just sort of melt it into the skin. And as you can see, it's got more of an oily finish, but it looks really, really pretty. And again, if you were gonna put makeup on top, just give it a chance to sink in and it will, and your makeup will apply on top of it beautifully. Let's move along to Solara. They are a newer SPF focused brand. So I'm gonna talk about them quite a bit here today. First up, we've got the Time Traveler. This is the one that I've used the most from the brand. This is their Ageless Daily Face Sunscreen with SPF 30. It's unscented, it's fuss free, it's easy. We've got a squeezy tube. It retails for $42. What I love about this one is this one is actually 40 minute water resistant. So this is gonna have a little bit of a thicker texture on the skin, but this is also one that I would wear if I'm gonna go spend time like in the sun sun, like I'm going to the beach, not just I'm gonna be in and out of my car running errands. So you do need to work this one into the skin a little bit more aggressively than some of the others. But what I can say is that it doesn't pill. Um, you can layer things on top of it. I've worn it underneath makeup about a million times and it is also unscented. So if you have more sensitive skin, I think this is one that you would really, really like and I have enjoyed using it as well. Just a little bit more of a thicker formula. So keep that in mind. Then a newer launch from them that I have been loving. This might be my favorite in the whole lineup. And this is the Solara Fortune Teller Brightening Sunscreen Serum. Now it says serum because it's a little bit more of a lightweight texture. Um, it has mica in here to help blur and brighten the skin as well. I do have it underneath my makeup here today. So it has a subtle tint. This is again going to help from that white cast. So it's more of a cream off white rather than that like zinky stark white that can often happen. It sometimes doesn't blend that great, especially if you have a little bit more of a deeper complexion. So this is going to help um, fight against uh, hyperpigmentation. Of course, it is meant to brighten here. There's argan oil, there's hyaluronic acid, there is aloe. It feels so good. And like I said, it is described as a serum. So it's got a really lightweight, thin texture. I think this might be one of the very best on the table here to wear underneath your makeup. It is just a total staple for every day. Again, though, if you have more oily skin, maybe this won't be your favorite. Maybe go for something like the Hint or the Fit Glow because this does actually have that mica in it, which will give it a little bit of reflect on the skin, but in a really natural, subtle and healthy way. It does not make you look dewy and greasy. And of course, you know, I have makeup on top, I have setting powder, but it's always nice to have a little something that peers through and really makes your skin look like skin. And this is no exception. I love this stuff. Let's move on to some body care, shall we? Let's keep on the Solara train. So this is their Glow Getter Illuminate and Tone SPF. I actually think you could use this everywhere, but it's in a bit of a larger bottle, so you can be a little bit more generous applying it everywhere. This retails for $32. This is also water resistant for up to 40 minutes, which is fantastic. There's green um, tea in here as well, which helps with any sort of cellulite in the skin. It helps to tone and firm. Um, um, there is also mica in here, so this is actually going to give you a little bit of a subtle shimmer. And of course, when you're at the beach, all the limbs are exposed. It's really nice to have a little something, something. And it's not chunks of glitter. It's not tacky. It's not yucky. This just looks like your skin, but a little bit better and a little bit more protected. So it's just an easy, again, squeezy tube. Great, 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 simple formulation that I love. Then we've got two from Babo. You know that these are really my go-tos because I love these continuous spray bottles. I think you have, ch if you have children, you really like formulations like this as well. So there are two. We have the Sheer Zinc Sunscreen SPF 30. This is designed for extra sensitive skin. So this is really easy to use. It's fragrance free. Um, it, this is actually 80 minutes water and sweat resistant. So this is a great one if you were spending longer periods of time outside and you need to reapply it less frequently. This one is more of a sheer formula than the other one. You're going to see it blends in really nicely. 
easy to apply. The little spray nozzle doesn't ever get clogged. I love this stuff, you guys. There's nothing really not to like. Give it a quick shake and you are ready to go. If you want something a little bit more intense, they do also have their sheer mineral sunscreen SPF. 50. Now this one's going to leave a little bit of a white residue, but it is also supplying quite a hefty amount of SPF coverage. So this is something that I really like to use on my back, on my shoulders, areas where the sun is being really brutal, or if I'm going to be on like a boat for like eight hours or something, this is one that I'd say, screw it guys, you can get over a little bit of a white cast because my skin is going to be protected. You can get it to blend in. It's just going to take a little bit longer, but it does also have a much, much, much higher SPF factor and is going to, again, give you that 80 minutes of water and sweat resistance, which we love. Now let's move on to two little etc. products. I did want to share the Han um, CC Serum because this also was formulated with an SPF 30. I have loved using this so, so much. If you are looking for a thin, almost blurring sort of everyday option that is a light, medium, buildable coverage, this is going to be for you. I have reviewed this in full, so I will make sure that I include that for you in the description box down below, but I've absolutely loved using this, you guys, and I love, you could double down. You can apply the SPF, you can put this on top of it, and just get a little bit of extra something something, but I love when my makeup has some SPF in it because, of course, it is tinted. You don't usually have to worry about a white cast. It's like you're putting it on anyway there's no extra steps and not only that it is it looks beautiful on and it wears really nicely as well and then quickly I did want to throw in the hurrah sun lip balm this is a tangerine chamomile fragrance blend this has SPF 15 if your lips are really sensitive to the sun this is great or if you have never tried a hurrah lip balm I mean they retail for $4.95 they are affordable they are some of the best lip balms on the market so incredibly nourishing and I mean it smells amazing it has an orange vanilla scent I am in love with it I put it on top of my lip products this is completely clear so it has no tint at all it goes with everything but an absolute staple in the beach bag or your purse if you are spending some time in the sun Mm, so cushiony and not at all sticky. I love them. So that is it, everyone. That is my little SPF roundup now that it's summer. Let me know if you've experimented with any of these. I think we've got a really good mix of some old faithfuls as well as some new launches as well that I'm going to continue to test and try. But I have had my hands on all of this stuff for quite a few weeks, so I've been absolutely loving it. If you want me to dive a little bit deeper on anything or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment in that description box down below. But I thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the consistent love and support. Please make sure that you thumbs up this video. You leave me a comment. It, the engagement helps so much, you guys. Even if it's just a hello to me, it doesn't need to be a profound comment on SPF. Don't you worry about that. Or of course, if you have anything that you want to see. You guys, I work for you. So let me know what you want to see and I will absolutely bring it to you. But again, make sure that you subscribe and everything because I post new videos here every single Monday. Don't want you guys to miss them. All of our social media is always listed in that description box down below as well. And any helpful reviews that I've done on some of these brands or products mentioned, I will make sure to include down below so that you can investigate a little bit further. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the consistent love and support and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!